Alright people, either I'm losing my mind or the world is coming to an end because the only reaction that I can get out of something Batman related is that it looks interesting. That's about it. Because if you haven't heard already, the brand new Batman game, now titled Batman Arkham Origins, has been officially confirmed and various other images have popped up on it. And the only reaction that's got from me is that it looks interesting. Not that it looked amazing or spectacular or not that it looks like a piece of shit and I'm not going to buy it. It just looks interesting. Doesn't mean it's doesn't mean I think it's bad, but it does have a few things going against it right now for me personally. I already did a video way back, like last year, when some of the rumors were coming out that this is going to be a Silver Age tone Batman game, and that it was going to feature the Justice League and Batman first meeting the Joker and you know all that crap. Now I don't think it's going to have the Justice League in it, plain and simple, because from what we have seen, I definitely don't think this is going to be a Justice League related video game. Um, if so, then why not just call it Justice League the video game? I, I don't get it. Um, but from what we have seen, um, it definitely does look like it's not going to be a Silver Age tone video game. I just think it's going to have some characters that were first introduced in the Silver Age. Um, but then again, I may be wrong. Um, so far, what we have, what has been officially confirmed is that the game, instead of actually taking place in Arkham, it will take place in Gotham City. And why call it Arkham? I don't get it. Unless we can go to Arkham, but not Arkham City, because this takes place way before Arkham City, because it is a prequel. And again, that's another problem that I'm having against it. Why a prequel? You have so many questions left open from Batman Arkham City, and you're honestly not even going to expand on that yet? I, I don't get it. There's so much just sitting there, staring you right in the face, and you just go and say, you know what would be better than answering those questions and making a really interesting story out of that? Let's make a prequel and open up so many more questions that we're never going to answer because, you know, we executive producers, we're just a bunch of douchebags that like to fuck around with the fans every single time we get to adapt a comic book property. Tee hee hee. I mean... Like, what about, like, Hush? Batman can go get Hush. That basically is its own story in itself. Hell, they made a whole damn comic book series. Well, not comic book series, but its own, you know, graphic novel on that it, it's it, in its entirety. Like, why not just adapt that to a video game or something like that? Or, you know, Asriel's prop, uh, Prophecy. Um, but I have been hearing some fan speculation slash rumors that this game is... Kind of like uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations or, you know, something like Halo uh, ODST or Halo Reach where they're just sort of like little uh, fill-in-the-gap things for the fans so they don't have to wait so long for, like, the next game. Like, instead of making Halo 4 af immediately after Halo 3 because it takes a long time, they'll make, they'll, you know, put out some games like Halo ODST to keep the fans, you know, the, you know uh, what the fans appetite, basically. And if that's the case, then um, I am very much looking forward to what Rock City will come back and do. That's, again, the rumor that I've heard. But I honestly don't understand why they why, why that happens in most video games anyways. Again, why I'm not that big of a video game fan, I just don't get it. Um, why waste your time on one game that a lot of people aren't really going to pay attention on and then make us pay attention on a game that we wanted to see other than, you know, Arkham Origins? Um, I like the title, especially seeing as how it is a prequel, basically staring you in the face that this game is a prequel. Um, it is an interesting title, and like, um, Arkham Asylum, it made sense. You were in Arkham Asylum, you know, Arkham City. Well, Arkham is now a city. Um, but with this, it kind of makes you think, well, what's in the origins of Arkham? That's kind of interesting. So the title is very interesting. It could lead into a lot of stuff. Um... But one thing I, I'm not getting, if this is the proposed third Batman game, and it will be Arkham 3, or if this is just sort of like a pit stop and then they'll make the official Arkham 3, um, I don't get why you had to make another game. Like, it ended so perfectly with Batman Arkham City, you didn't need to um, expand on that. It, it, that game, you can never top. Why try to, you know? With Arkham Asylum, there's so many things that you can build on and redo and just, you know, fix up. That's what Arkham City was, so why try to do that again with another Batman game? Because you're just going to basically do the exact same carbon copy, and then that's really about it, you know? Like, just, just leave it be, but apparently not because we're getting a new Batman game. Now, will I buy it? 
yeah, probably when it comes out, especially if we get a trailer sometime soon. But, you know, I do have a lot of cons against it, even though a trailer hasn't even been released and I'm sounding like a fucking hypocrite right now. Um, but from what we have gotten, uh, some of the villains have been officially confirmed. One, Slade the Terminator Wilson, a.k.a. Deathstroke, will be one of the main villains in it, which... That's badass in its own, in it of itself, so I'm excited to see what they do with that. But please get Ron Perlman to reprise his role from the Teen Titans show to do it. Please. You got Kevin Conroy to come back as Batman in these games. Mark Hamill to come back as a Joker in these games. Come on, get him to do it. Come on. Or at least that one guy that did it from Young Justice. He was pretty good too. But please someone get you know, get someone that played Slade or turn or Deathstroke. Deathstroke I'm calling him that because, you know, I don't like Slade. Um, please get some one of those guys. And, but along with one of the one assassin, we have eight other or seven other. I, I'm not really sure. Um, assassins, a uh, DC Universe assassins, which probably marks down um, De Deadshot. You might get Deadshot again, but you know who knows? Maybe so, maybe not. I have no idea. Um, and we also have the Penguin coming back, and in a pr in a little uh, picture released of it. He doesn't have the the little bottom of the bottle stuck in his eye like a little monocle or anything. So maybe we can see how that happened, but even though we found out in there, but I doubt that we're going to find out how that happened because we already found out in Arkham City. Um, but I'm really interested to see what happens in this game. I am incredibly worried that it will turn out to be bad. I have no idea. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait for a trailer or for the actual game to come out. So what do you guys think? I'm 123 Regional. I'll see you soon.